Hello everybody, Caleb here with actually day 28 today. Not getting the day wrong for once. On point. It's uh, close to 11 o'clock right now. And night was overall a really productive and fun day. Um, got most of the slight edge goals done. Whew, that jump into the video was a little tiring for some reason. I need to get some, some cardio in or something. Be running out of breath just jumping into videos like that. But getting into it, things I got done today was packaging for online store, listed a bunch of products for the online store. So that was really good. Hopefully keep securing some bags through there. That's only kind of like a part-time gig, nothing too serious. Um, a little serious, but nothing like life changing, keeps me going while I'm going to school and keeps me afloat. Uh, while I'm trying to grow my other business and whatnot. But other things that I got done today was going to my class. That was pretty fun. Communication class is probably my favorite class. The teacher's really cool, really fun guy, really uh, interactive and intriguing, very fun to listen to. He's got a lot of cool stories and uh, really is pushing me to kind of, well, not pushing me, but pushing the whole class. But I feel like for me, I need to get out of my comfort zone a little bit more. That's what we talked about today is uh, kind of the difference between a routine and a rut and how a routine can be really important, but also like getting out of ruts can be a rut. It's just kind of when you're stuck in one place or you're just floating, drifting along. And I feel like that's where I was at for a long time until I started doing this slight edge journey. And now I'm in more of a routine kind of daily thing. So feeling really good about all that, but doesn't mean it's perfect. Got to keep striving to do better every day. Can't get complacent. I gotta keep my mind focused. Gotta keep the grind going. Laser focused on the journey ahead. Nothing stopping me. No excuses on anything. Uh, but let's see. After I came home from my class, I got done with. Uh, me and my mom had a project to clean out our fridge because we want to get rid of all of our old stuff, clean up some other space so we can start implementing healthier foods into our fridge so that we can all get to our desired bodies and or desired healthy state. Um, I want to put on weight. Uh, we also want to make my dad's life a little easier as he's trying to lose some weight. And I feel like if we got rid of a lot of the junk and extra excess old stuff that's just been sitting in there for a while, getting rid of that would make uh, free some space to get in some healthier stuff and try out some new things. Um, yeah, I feel like it was a pretty productive day because that took a while. We cleaned up a lot of the inside. It was very fun. Me and my mom got that done. Real, that was probably the biggest thing that I did today, uh, productivity-wise, because we've been saying we were going to do that for around a week now. Um, other things I got done was 30 minutes, probably 35 minutes or so of reading. Uh, probably like 25 to 30 minutes of Way of the Wolf. And I did around 10 minutes of reading slash listening. I always do reading slash listening. I never really do just reading anymore or I'll just do listening. Um, it's a lot easier for me. Reading is, I don't feel like I absorb the information. It takes a lot of time. It doesn't feel like it's effective. Um, I forget a lot of what I'm reading, but when I'm listening and reading, it just sticks in here a lot easier. So if you're uh, not much of a reader, I'd highly recommend buying a book and checking out Amazon's Audible they allow you to get one free book a month. So you read a book and you listen to a book for, if you were slow, you can get through it in a month. I mean, most books won't take that long if you're doing it every day for around 30 minutes. Um, probably finish a book in around two weeks or so. But it's pretty productive. I think it allows you to just kind of flow through it. You don't have to remember everything, but you get around 90% of the information. It's okay to miss some things as long as you're constantly moving forward. Um, so that was really good. I actually just got done, done before doing this video. I feel like that was really important. I was going to do the video, but then I said, nah, no excuses. I missed the past, or not yesterday, but the day, two days before that I missed. And I'm trying to stay on routine, stay on track with that goal of getting that done. Uh, I didn't do 10 minutes of meditation, but I always do meditating before I go to bed. I don't know if I make it 10 minutes usually in those, but... I mean, I'll do some meditating before I go to bed. Not necessarily on point with my 10 minutes that I try and do 
I think if I do it now, I'm probably just going to fall asleep anyway, unless I'm sitting down. And I, I don't know. I feel like I had a productive day, so the mindfulness meditation isn't as essential as other days. But um, I was going to do my episode six of my Think and Grow Rich mini series today. I titled it wrong and I said it wrong in the episode that it was episode six, the fifth step towards riches, specialized knowledge. Inaccurate, blundered by my part. It was supposed to be episode five, the fourth step towards riches. I was going to do the sixth chapter, episode six today, the fifth step towards riches, imagination. That was what it was supposed to be, but I got some notes done and just didn't get around to doing the video. No excuses for me. Um, this is just me being a little lazy, not trying to be as focused on what I should get done and prioritizing that as a, a thing to do earlier in the day. Um, so that's probably going to be one of the first things I try to do tomorrow will be that. Maybe get that up around noon or so. I got class from 9.30 to 11, but I think I could get it up once I get back and spend 10, 15 minutes reviewing the chapter again and then uh, make sure I get that video up by noon. Get that up would be really good. Got to keep progressing forward in that series. Um, it's been pretty fun to go through and share the key takeaways because that book's really changed my life. Looking forward to all of that. Um, that'll definitely happen. Like I said, no excuses for not getting it up today. It was on me. Um, tomorrow, though, definitely going to make it happen. Yep. Hopefully you guys will watch it. I would appreciate it if you did, and hopefully you can learn something from it. Um, oh, I got some quite a bit of cleaning done also today in my room. Well, I wasn't doing my video. That was the main thing I was doing instead of doing my video. I had a really uh, tough door to my bathroom that was really hard to close. I got that fixed up. I put up a uh, whiteboard above my bookshelf. So uh, it's a whiteboard calendar so I can kind of plan out my days or just have, uh, if I have plans or certain events coming up, I can write those down. But that's about it for me on day 28. I hope you all had a great Monday. Started off the week strong. Uh, feels good and that have uh, just be looking forward to weekends you know you live every day like it's your kind of like it's your last I want to say that should be your mindset but it should be some something similar to you know you don't know how long life is guaranteed so you got to make the most out of it to make sure you're uh, you're living up to try and reach whatever legacy you want to leave behind I think that's a main thing for me is I want to leave behind a legacy of uh, really impacting this world and I can't be uh, lazy. I gotta keep my head focused to try and bring as much of a positive influence and positive message and try and really bring people together into a hardworking, more slight edge. We aren't gonna get there tomorrow, but if we all gather together, we can get to a better planet in maybe a year or two. Who knows? It might be 10 years, but you know, just slowly but surely trying to make a positive impact. Turned out I don't have all the answers, but I'll figure it out. Uh, that's it for me, though. This video's gone on long enough. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it a lot. Hope you all had a great Monday. Peace.